Hi, I'm Dave Hirsch, and I am a trial lawyer. I try civil cases, so today we're going to talk about the burden of proof. When one party sues another for money damages due to injuries that have been sustained, it is a civil lawsuit, and by that we mean it's not criminal. No one is going to jail. It's about money damages, and it's really a dispute between private parties, either individuals or corporations, or sometimes the government. In civil trials, the party bringing the claim is called the plaintiff. In civil trials, the plaintiff has the burden of proof. That means that the plaintiff has to prove his or her case. At the start of the case, the party defending against the claim, called the defendant, at the start of the case, the defendant is winning. If the case ends right then, right at the start, because the plaintiff has the burden of proof, the defendant wins. And the defendant wins because of the burden of proof. The plaintiff has the responsibility to persuade the judge or the jury that the plaintiff's case is right. In order to do this, the plaintiff is required, or gets to, go first. The plaintiff must establish all of the elements of his or her claim. The defendant isn't required to do or say anything. If the plaintiff fails to prove all of the elements of his or her claim, the defendant wins. However, once the plaintiff proves his or her case, the defendant has to contest those elements of the plaintiff's case, put on any affirmative defenses that the defense may have, or otherwise try to defend against those claims. Uh, let's take an example. Let's take a car wreck case, for example. Now, I try far more complex cases than a car wreck, but the principles are the same no matter how complex the case is. So in your typical car wreck case, a plaintiff has to prove, uh, number one, that the defendant owed the plaintiff the duty to stay on the other side of the line. Number two, that the defendant crossed the yellow line and struck the plaintiff's vehicle. Number three, that the plaintiff suffered injuries or damages. And number four, that the claim damages were caused by the negligence of the defendant. These are called the elements of the plaintiff's claim. And if the plaintiff fails to prove any of these elements, plain and simple, the plaintiff loses. And the plaintiff loses because of the burden of proof. However, once the plaintiff puts on his or her case and proves all of these elements, the burden is on the defendant to either disprove the plaintiff's claims or to prove up any affirmative defenses. In our example, the defendant can prove, well, first of all, I did stay on my side of the line. I didn't breach the duty that I owed to the plaintiff. Number two, the defendant can say, there wasn't a collision. I didn't hit anybody. Number three, the defendant can say, well, yeah, I hit somebody, but no one, including the plaintiff, was hurt. Fourthly, the defendant can say, well, whatever the injuries the plaintiff is claiming are, aren't injuries that I caused. I didn't cause those, those injuries. Or the defendant can choose to assert an affirmative defense. It was the plaintiff's fault. And so it goes in almost all civil lawsuits. The party advocating a position has the initial burden of proof. The party responding to a claim may need to respond and meet that burden of proof from the other side. Ties go to the party who does not have the burden of proof. And that's basically the burden of proof. If you have a legal matter that I can help you with, please feel free to contact me. You can call me at 303-792 5595, or you can reach me on the web at bergsimpson.com. I'm Dave Hirsch, and I'm a trial lawyer.